I welcome you to the National Theatre of Ghana where the Manifest A Cappella Group is celebrating 15 years in ministry and they are putting together drama, music and other forms of the arts to praise God for how far he has brought them. My name is Ishmael Anand and I'm going to be your host here and I welcome you and I expect to come your way with exciting interviews to help you enjoy this evening. We are still backstage and I have with me one of the veterans of the Manifest A Cappella group. Junior, how are you feeling now? I'm, I'm feeling great. I mean, I, the, the, the energy from the audience has been transferred to me already. So I can't wait to give them a very good show. And so if, if, if people are, are here, they should expect something great, great. 15 years down the line, what is your fondest memory? 15 years. I think it will be one time where Koko came for a studio session and he was in the in his sister's um, uh, canvas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that is really funny. I think there was, there was a light off and then he apparently had to wear his sister's and, and that day we couldn't record because I mean, yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> finally, finally, I told you earlier, people are seated in the main auditorium. What should they expect? Well, I, I, we pray that God will be sent down and for people to know that the Spirit is still with us. That's why Jesus has gone and He's interceding on our behalf. You will enjoy it, trust me. You will. Finally, who are you playing? I'm playing James, my own name. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but I'm playing three roles. I'm going to be James, I'm going to be a, uh, somebody who's going to pay tax, and I'm going to be a criminal on the cross. Mm -hmm. Watch out. years down the line how do you feel um, it's been a blessing uh, like for singing for 15 years it's it comes with a um, lot of challenges I wouldn't say problems a lot of challenges and um, we we face some head-on we let some pass by but it keeps us together so our being together was factored by the fact that we have a mission so we fought towards that mission and we are still fighting towards that, that mission that we, we have. So that goal pushes us to move forward and then move on. I know today has been quite a very busy day, but in spite of all your schedules, you found time to be here. Why are you here? Yes, um, uh, you know, I've known Manifest to be um, one of the a cappella groups that upheld a cappella music and excellence. And we are all here to celebrate the goodness of the Lord over the 15, 15 years. I, I, I know you have worked with the Manifest before. Are there some fond memories these 15 years you want to share with us? Oh, not directly. Um, I've only been a fan of their music and I've, I've always enjoyed them.
your expectations have they been met? My for expectations this program, yeah. have been over met because the I program's not over yet. <laughs> it's, not, it's not over. It's not over. It's not but right. I mean, for for what I've seen so far, it's it's just on point. Well, we thank God so much for that. I know you have been a member of the manifest before. Yeah. Is there any fond memories you want to share with us? <laughs> yes, there, there was actually one day I went to uh, Peace FM. There was a Peace FM was having their birthday and I had mm. to do a jingle with them. And that day I didn't have anything on me. And I least expected as the money. As the money. <laughs> <laughs> I was so broke. Mm. But they came to me and then they were like, Any, we want you to you know, help us with writing this jingle for Peace FM. So after the Peace FM thing and then they sorted me out, I was like, wow, guys, thanks so much. I least expected this. Mm. I want to use this opportunity to thank them so much for, I mean, adding me to the family. That's, it's been a great right. experience that's with them. Are they sorting you out today too? <laughs> <laughs> but I know Sabbaths are very busy days for you pastors, yet you made time to come. It tells me that you have great love for the Manifest. In fact, the Manifest has been one group that uh, God has used in marvelous ways for the past 15 years. Despite the challenges that confronted them, they've been able to stand together and perform marvelously to the glory of God. And therefore, it's a pride and a joy to give them the moral support needed. And um, have your expectations for the night being met? Pentecost experience. No, the, in fact, it, it, it's quite, um, how would I put it? it because the, the innovation in their presentation have added some touch that is different. I was expecting a music oriented program right here. But the way they vary the program is it, it, quite unique. And, and so, so 15 years away from now, where do you expect to see the manifest? Oh well, as we have seen some metamorphizing taking place, I believe that others may take over and then still have the group still functioning and support the group because they have built some good. Uh, background and they need to build up on it because I believe God will make better things. So tell me your name and where you came from tonight. Okay, my name is Dokas Bole Ablomensa. I'm from the Spentest Road. I attend um, Lungwa North SDA Church. Um, it appears Sabbaths are very busy days, yet you have come to witness this program. It tells us that you love the manifest. Of course. I can't miss this program. No way. All right. And um, have your expectations been met? Of course. They did a great job. In fact, the first part, we didn't expect that. Mm. They, they really did a great job. Mm. So 15 years away from now, where do you expect the manifest to be? I pray that they will go higher and higher 
Um, it's my prayer that they will move across the borders of Ghana mm. and then spread the gospel yeah. everywhere in the whole world. Before you got on the stage, I mean, there was there were so many expectations, and you could hear from the applause and the cheers that greeted you. What was the feeling like? This is actually my first stage, like with, with a big crowd like this, and and my God, it was heavenly, and it really felt good ministering to people who were ready to listen to me. Um, did you feel some form of attention against the background of the fact that you are the male vocal of the year? Yes. Because it's, it's actually uh, a part you have to play. Being in the middle of all of the year is not easy because you have to give up your best. And um, looking at this kind of stage and the platform over here, I saw it as ministry and praise to God and the Lord made it wonderful. So I give all thanks to God. Manifest Akbala Group as they celebrate their 15th anniversary. At 15 has been wonderful. The audience over, over here tells us all. And I wish them the best. They have come this far. Just by God's grace. They shouldn't forget what God has done for them. They should give reverence to Him. Trust me, you are a great singer. And I'm, a, I'm an admirer of your ministry. May God bless the ministry that you are doing. Alright.